show today we've got the founder of the national firescape association cisco with us today he's going to tell you things that you haven't heard about before and you're going to learn some things that you need to know not just you as a listener but everyone and this is the guy known as the firescape guy again the founder cisco good to see you today educate folks about what you do and what you've done and what the world needs to know Sure. So on, uh, if you're on TikTok, go to Firescape Guy. You're going to see us walking all over the country up to a Firescape and say, is this safe? And we'll tell you whether it's safe on the moment and on the spot. And usually 98% of everything I look at fails when we inspect. That's wow. because Firescapes haven't been looked at for over 75 years. The law in the country just came aboard now in 2022. Why, why is it taking Every so fire. long? I mean, not, what, what's well, with this? Here. We all see fire escapes. Right. So right now we're here with the NFPA because they've been around for a long time. Since 1927, their law says the authority having jurisdiction shall accept by load test or other evidence of strength, but they don't say how many years you're supposed to repeat this. So they really rely on the owners of properties to do the right thing. Yeah. And guess what they do right all the time? They collect rent. Guess what they don't do right all the time? Fix a window, fix a sink, and fix their fire escapes. So we put it out there through TikTok and also here at the National Fire Protection Association to help change the laws. We have had a great effect nationwide. And for the NFPA to add just to their law every five years. Wow. Otherwise, if you go on TikTok, and I'm, I do from Seattle to San Diego, Chicago to Texas, and from Maine to Florida, I walk up to everybody's fire escape and I just say, hey, is this safe? And I prove that it's not safe. It hasn't been kept painted and it hasn't been... It's not structurally sound. So I'm from Cleveland. Do you get into Cleveland? Oh, yeah. What do you find Cleveland. there? I've taught classes. I've taught classes in Cleveland, right? And I've taught a fire escape awareness class. I teach it nationwide, and I teach it for free. So a lot of times I have to fly myself into Cleveland, teach this class for free, and it's continuing ed credit. So you get three credits or six credits as I speak about fire escapes. But some of these poor cities, oh. Cleveland, Cincinnati, Boston, Los Angeles, it's the last thing you ever think about. So oh, you're the, you're the go-to the bastard guy? child of egress. Oh, my gosh. That's why it's called. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't give it any money. Don't yeah. give it any paint. Don't give it any bolts. But then when it kills people, then they call me. And I'm an expert witness on Firescape injuries and fatalities. Oh. And we sue the owners of a building who hope the insurance company yeah. covers it. And if they don't cover it, that building gets taken because somebody got hurt on the Firescape, whether sure. it's a tenant or a fireman. You know, Cisco, it's interesting that we came to meet each other. When we were selecting our booth for Mighty Line, we saw that you guys were set up here. And I said, you know, we need to be next to these folks because this is something that everyone needs to know. So I'm so glad we got to learn more about this. And where can people go to learn more about what you do and how do they get educated? Well, your website, TikTok. Sure. TikTok is if you want to see in your city if your fire escapes are safe or not safe. And your job is to call the landlord call the management company, and if they don't listen to you, call the fire department, call the building department, and say, I don't think my fire escape is safe based on the little knowledge I have. It looks brown to me, right? The second place is to go, is to, go to the National Fire Escape Association .org. Okay. Go there, and all the classes we've ever taught to every fire official, building official nationwide is there for free. You can watch and get to learn more, learn about all the codes, and that way you can watch just what your city is or is not learning, is or is not doing about this law, which sadly just came into effect nationwide in yeah. 2022. Wow. A lot wow. of states. You know, and there's got to be specific testing that's required that we can learn about on that website. Because sure. I think most folks don't know how you even test a fire but, escape. So I mean, there's two parts to it. So there's, a, there's only three people that can inspect the fire escape. An engineer, doesn't have to be structural. Okay. An architect. So they both have to be registered in your state. Then the third one is somebody that's approved by your city official, such as a fire escape inspector, such as a certified fire escape inspector. Do not go after these guys that are going to give you free estimates. Those are called the welding witch doctors. Yeah. How They'll do you get certified? I, well, I, the step first is you're already certified if you're registered in the state as an engineer or you're registered in your state as an architect. Okay. The third acceptable to the building official has to be certified in sometimes by the National Firescape Association or the National Firescape Academy. You know what I'm saying? That's what one of the things I found that to help get these people certified. Sure. But if you have some expertise in that field, so you could be a fire protection engineer 
with a certain knowledge that you re- attain in fire escapes, and you too can inspect these fire escapes. Okay. Is there a national license for fire escape inspectors? Yeah. There isn't. But that's the first step. You inspect your fire escapes first by one of these three people. Then it gets repaired while these three people watch them repair the fire escape. And then at the conclusion of the repair, there's a load test. Okay. And that's the physical putting on of weights on it. Sandbags, water bags. Wow. You know, it's 100 pounds per square foot. So a a typical five by five platform takes 2,500 pounds of sand or water on it for a certain period of time. That's called a load test. Yes. And so that is the conclusion now, because most of the fire escapes I inspect are 75 to 125 years old, never inspected. Okay. So it sounds like a career opportunity for anyone looking to go into an interesting field. I'll bet you're looking for people. We're looking for people. Okay. So folks, take a look at the National Fire Escape Association Learn more from Cisco and his team. They've got a wonderful group here. Thanks so much for your time today, and we're going to feed you more folks. Thank you. And we'll give them stickers while we're there. Awesome. Stop by the booth if you're here. 904. Take care. 902. 902. Fire Escape Association. Yeah, he'll send you over anyway, just in case. He's he's right next to you. Be safe. Be safe. Bye.